Hello you guys, PK here and welcome back to my channel and I know I've been gone really long but I'm finally done with all the chaos Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's and today's video will be a makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started the first step is to prep your skin which I already did that and now we're moving on to primer and today's primer is going to be Power Grip Primer plus 4% Cinemai from e.l.f. this pink one right here And I usually just do two, but that one did came out good. Okay, and that's it. And then I usually let it set for like 30 seconds and I will be not letting the primer set. We're going to move on to um, using the concealer and just canceling out the bigger acne spots. And I'm going to use the most concealer by Kim Chi Chi and it's going to be the color in all white. And I'm going to use the brush Morphe M13, 173. And I'm just gonna go like this. And then after that, I will just go in with the Kimchi Cheek Puff Puff Pass. Set and bake powder and it's in the shade lavender and I just kind of like use this and then get a brush and I honestly don't know this brush but it's from Morphe and it looks like this and I just usually go like this and then tap the axis and then just kind of like cover the spots that I did right here just to let it set and so it doesn't wash off when I do my foundation I guess that's how you would see it <laughs> okay I'll do do that I'll move on to foundation and the foundation I'm using today is also from Kimchi Cheek. It is the a really good foundation and it, it's in shade 106 L. Looks like that. And I usually do at least like two pump and then if I knew if I do need to um, retouch it. I'll just squirt it a little bit into my sponge and I'll retouch it. And my sponge, I already wet it, and so yeah. Okay, and after the foundation, I will go back with the all white concealer from Kimchi Cheek with the same brush. Morphe M173 and just squirt a little bit and just kind of use the brush to go like this and then just go down like this a little bit lightly on my eyes And also my, what do you call it? My forehead T? Well, I'll just call it forehead. And then my chin. And then, yeah. And then I'll just blend it out with the same sponge I use for my foundation. And I'll start off with my chin first, and then my forehead, and then my two horn eyes. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. brow lift, and then the brush Morphe M620. And then I will just um, 
use a little bit and just lift off my brows kind of like this We're moving on to filling in my brows and I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Shape and Duo Fill Duo and it's in the shade brown and I have my own brush and it's not a known brush but I had no idea how to say it but it is like this and yeah and then I'm just going to fill in my brows Kind of like I start at the end right here and then let me get a little mirror for this. Then I'll start from up here out there and make the little when I pull it this way, I forgot what it's called, but whatever. And I use both shades, so I just kind of tap like this and tap like this and then just start filling it in a little bit. Same thing on the other side. And I'll be back after I do the other side. Filling <laughs> both brows in and I know they do not look like sisters but it's okay we have concealer to conceal our brows and I'm going to I don't have a concealer right now and I only have the um the all white concealer but I usually just use my um a really good foundation from Kitty Cheek as my concealer and I just pump a little bit like a little bit only you don't need a lot and I will just go in with the brush, kind of like this. Same brand as the other brush. And then I'll just conceal it. Like, start from over here. And then I'll just slowly go like this. Concealing my brows, I usually go in with the Morphe E57 brush and just kind of like brush out all the um, concealer I use or blend, I would say. It's kind of like that. So for me, I usually take a little longer on my brows since I don't have a set routine on my brows or like a set shape I like. I'll just go within how I feel that day. And today, this is how I'm feeling with my brows. And now we're moving on to the next step. And the next step is still with the brows. And we're moving on to the 24 Brow Setter by Benefit. This one, very really Cinderella vibe sometimes, and I usually do that. And I just go with um the part that I did fill in, like right here. I'll just go like this, push it up like this, and then I'll move on. She's got some nice long hair and you notice she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help. Now we move on to contour. I don't really use contour. I mainly use bronzer. And the bronzer I'm going to use is the NARS one in shade Laguna, which is number one. And it is a bronzer cream. It looks like this. And as you can tell, I have this one for really long and it's already almost done. So for that, 
and we move on to this is a brush I'm going to use and I usually just dip it like this and follow what you oh and just kept tap it and I pull it up all the way like this And the reason why I'm doing this is to not show my double chin too much because I have a double chin when I bend down like this but a contouring like this will help me not show my double chin and I learned it from someone on my TikTok and I totally forgot but I'll probably never find the video again but it's okay and then out of that I'll just pull it up like this so I have a more um what is it more sharper jawline, I guess. As you can tell, this side is more down and this side is more up. And like that. And then we'll move on to the nose contour. And we're going to use this e.l.f. Um, brush and it's for an eyeshadow, but I use it as my nose contour. And it's this one. It is um, this one, and I dropped it. And I usually would start from here down. And then I also do um, mouth contour. I just do it like this, and then like that, and then blend it out. Don't forget to blend it out. And I use this brush and just kind of do this lightly not too hard because sometimes you do it too hard it will take out some of your foundation all the boys there can't help it it's a habit clothes that she wears short skirt and then after that i will go in with the kimchi tea puff puff powder and shea lavender again and set my face I totally forgot a step. <laughs> it's okay. But yes, I do use this uh, Milani Make It Last Original 16 Hour Wear Setting Spray uh, right after my foundation and concealer. After that, I'm done and then I move on to the next step. But I totally forgot about it. But yes, that's one of my steps too and don't miss it. <laughs> I'm so bad. How did I miss that? But anyways, moving on to setting my face, I'll use the um, powder they give me from Kim Chi. I'll just squish it like this, and then like that. And then I I'll focus on my eye first, or well, basically the corner of my nose, like that. And then move on to my eyes. Okay, and I'll let it set for like at least a minute and I will be back after one minute. Okay, after one minute, I will move on to the Morphe brush again. This one, the first one I show you guys and just um, kind of swipe it so it remove all the acids um, powder on my face.
and then I'll move on to <laughs> I'm so extra though so I just again use this brush right here to remove the extra powder because I feel like it helps And then I'll go with a smaller brush and then wipe it off again. Okay, so I'm basically almost done. I just need my shadow and everything else, of course. But we're moving on to the shadow. But today I just want to keep it simple. And this is what I use for my shadow. It is the NARS Laguna contour I believe and I got it as a sample and it came in this small one well contour bronzer one or the other but yes it is in shade Laguna go ahead and just use this brush right here and just get in like that and then just Put it all over my eyes. This is just a quick and simple way for me to get ready and get out of the house faster, I guess. After my eyes, I will put a little bit and go under my eyes and just bring it out like this. I already kind of did this side and you can't tell, but yes, just a little bit like that. And then we kind of use this Byron Brock highlighter, Bay in Paradise. And then we will use um, this shade right here and just put it in the corner of our eyes. And then I also like to put it on my brows. And now we're gonna move on to blush and I'm broke so we what well, I usually use just um what is it called eyeshadow blush as my blush and I use the James Charles one and I use this kind of brush right here and I usually go between this one this pink one and this really um bright pink one and i just go like this tap it off and gently pat and bring it up because this is shadow and it's not um cream or blush powder blush so it's more um what is it called thicker i guess thicker ingredients in there so it's harder to um blend it out or you put too much it's harder to um kind of like get rid of how dark you put on your face and then i will put some on my nose and here's a good trick just use your sponge and just kind of tap it again it was too much kind of like that and then we're going to use the same highlight I use as the inner corner from the same palette and I'm going to use Morphe M5 110 
and just go like this, bring it up. Here comes the finger. I use my middle finger, same, same um, highlight. Just go to my nose like this. And then my inner, my upper lip like this. And then we do mascara. And I'm going to use the Essence Lashes Princess. You go ahead and pick a lashes you like, but today I'm going to wear the um, Ioni or how are you say it in the um, what is it horoscope I believe in Gemini. It is right here. All the information you need is you'll like those lashes. <laughs> And I was part of try to find an Amazon and part of link it down below. I'll put just like everything I use down below so you guys will see. For the glue I'm going to use is going to be Star Glue in clear. Looks like this. And then I'm going to use the Morphe Lash, um, whatever you call it for your lashes and put my lashes on and then while I do that I'll just tell you guys that I usually let my lashes um, set for like at least 30 seconds after the glue is put on to the lash band and then or blow it on it but I usually just set it aside and move on to putting the glue because onto the next lashes because that's already kind of like 10 seconds of your whole lifetime already and then it's kind of like that and then after you do that that's already like 20 second basically 30 second and then i use just do this for a couple seconds and then put it in my eyes since these are half lashes, I'll usually go from here to like right here. So I kind of like. Kind of like that. And then. Just push it up a little bit so you can see it. And then you go ahead and just put your next lashes onto your eyes because that's already 30 seconds in your whole lifetime already too. Now for that, I will use a naked or toilet paper just to wipe off the chapstick or lip mask you put on your lips. And then move on to lipstick. So the lipstick I'm going to use today is Revlon Color Stay Stay Ink in no idea in what shade, but it's this very very dark brown or nude color, and it looks like this. Just like it for you guys. That's how it looks like. So if you like this shade, go ahead and go get it, but I honestly don't remember what shade it is. Yeah, it doesn't say. But anyways, I will use this and I'll just put like a little bit like this. 
Finally prove it. Never listen to the nose. I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I had so many dreams. Then you hit your teens. I think really. And I'll use this brush to blend it out. And then you get this kind of like. And then I will use setting spray, which is the Milani Make It Last. This is probably like another dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I love that one, but that one's expensive. And girl, this year you're going cheap, and this is your best bet. It will make it last. And just dredge your face in it and then make sure you let it dry so go back to mascara and put mascara under your bottom lashes like that you look a lot better and that's basically it that's how i basically do my makeup and this is a cute makeup tutorial for you guys Okay, so thank you for watching this makeup tutorial of how I usually just do my makeup. And I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe to PK's channel and comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And don't forget to press the bell notification. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time. Bye-bye. BK signing off.